everyone. Welcome back to the Killer Miller Chicks Homestead. I thought this week I would just share some recipes. We've really been lacking in cooking supper because we've had so many things going on. And so I just thought this would help me get back in the groove of things and maybe it would give you guys some meal ideas for your suppers. Tonight's gonna be a little interesting. Um, Lexus wanted, she sent me a picture of Frito pie that she wanted and then we got to talking about it and it sounds like she wants more of a walking taco Frito pie mixture. So that's what we're gonna make tonight. It will be interesting cause we're just gonna wing it. Earlier we got out a package of our deer burger. It's probably about a pound. And so that's what we're gonna use as deer burger for the meat. I have half an onion here that I used for another recipe. So we'll use this half an onion to go in with the burger. added some butter to my skillet to keep it from sticking. Once this butter melts, I'll put my onions in there. My onions have cooked down quite nicely, so I'm going to open up my deer burger and get it in there. While this is cooking down, I'm going to make some taco seasoning. I didn't realize we were out, but I have everything to make it, so I'm going to do that real quick. Here's how I'm going to make my taco seasoning. I'm going to start with eight tablespoons of chili powder. This is a new thing, a chili powder, so if I don't have enough, I'll just make half the recipe. I just realized I don't know why I'm doing that the hard way. Eight tablespoons is equal to half a cup, so I'm just going to use half a cup. Much easier for measuring. Four teaspoons of cumin. three teaspoons of paprika, two teaspoons of garlic powder, two teaspoons of onion powder, and one teaspoon of pepper. So there are lots of recipes out there for taco seasoning, so you do whatever one sounds best to you. Our burger's close to being done, so I'm gonna go ahead and shred up our lettuce. As I shred it, I'm just gonna stick it in my salad spinner to wash it. If you're looking for a salad spinner, I suggest that you check out thrift stores. I see them all the time there for super cheap. I think I paid less than $2 for this one. It's kind of small. I'm thinking about getting a bigger one, but they have the really nice ones that you see people use all the time for just a couple dollars at the thrift store. So just a thought, if you're looking for one, you might try there first. Okay, our burger is nice and done, so I'm going to add two tablespoons of the taco seasoning I made. I'm going to get some water. It's really dry, so I'm going to add a cup of water. Something I like to do to make my lettuce last longer is I take my Tupperware bowl and I line it with some paper towels. And then when I take the lettuce out of my salad spinner, I put it in these paper towels. And this will help keep it dry in the fridge. And so once we're done with supper, I'll also cover the top with paper towels and then put the lid on it and stick it in the fridge. And it stays fresh so much longer. This is kind of how I layer it up and then just put the lid on it. When I put it in the fridge, you'll find it lasts a lot longer. To make it similar to a chili, I'm gonna go ahead and add some beans. I'm just adding red kidney beans because that's about all we have in our pantry at the moment. I thought we had pinto, but we don't. That'll make it a little more hearty. Okay, for our walking taco slash Frito pie that we're having tonight, we just have some corn chips. I just buy the store brand. So we have corn chips. We're gonna put our meat with the beans on, on it, our lettuce that we shredded up. And then I have this nacho cheese that I got at Sam's Club or Costco. Um, I'm actually gonna take this and break it out into containers and freeze what I'm not using tonight. So we'll have this on top of it. And then we're gonna use sour cream and salsa. Here's how it turned out. It was a really delicious meal. Hi everyone, tonight I'm making a couple of quiche just so that we'll have them in the fridge for breakfast this week. And I thought I would share that recipe with you. The recipe I'm using calls for one pound of bacon for one quiche, but Bacon prices are really high right now, so I'm just gonna use one pound of bacon for two quiche. 
I always like to save the bacon grease. I just stick it in the freezer to use later. I have my oven preheated to 400. My dishwasher is also running, so I'm sorry if you can hear that in the background. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add this one pound of bacon to my eight scrambled eggs. I guess I should call them beet eggs and not scrambled, but same difference to me. <laughs> I also took one onion and I just softened it. And then I used a package of bell peppers I had left from our garden and I added that in. So we'll just add that now to our eggs and bacon. I'm just gonna give that a little mix real quick. And now I'm gonna add one cup of milk. Make that two cups of milk. I forgot I'm doubling the recipe. And two cups of cheddar cheese. Now we'll finish it off with a little salt and pepper. Give it a good mix here. Now I'm just gonna split this between my two pie crusts. They are completely different sizes, so I'm hoping this will fit at all. I might need two of the big ones, but this is all I have. We'll see. Okay, they're ready to go in the oven. We're gonna stick them in the oven at 400 degrees for 15 minutes. Then I'm gonna turn it down to 350 and bake them for approximately 35 more minutes or until the egg's done. The quiche came out looking great and it's ready for breakfast tomorrow. That one looks a little dark on camera, but it doesn't really look like, like that in person. While our quiche is in the oven, I'm gonna get started on supper and I want to share with you the side we're having tonight. It's one of my favorite sides and I thought you might enjoy it too. Um, it is Asian style French green beans. I'm gonna use the same pan that I cooked the onions in earlier because we're just gonna put onions in this recipe too. So I'm gonna start just with some extra virgin olive oil and I'm gonna add to that the French style green beans. Usually I use the frozen ones, but I couldn't find those in the store. So I have two cans tonight that I'm gonna use. So I just drained all the liquid out. I like to usually put a red pepper sliced up in this, but instead I'm gonna use what I had in the freezer. This is the last package I have of peppers from our garden. So I'm just gonna put those in. It's a mixture of different peppers. It'll work fine. And then I have a whole onion that I cut up. Now I do like to let this cook for quite a while. I like my green beans to get just a little, not, not really charred, but a little dark. I think it gives it more flavor. I think I'm gonna turn it up to not quite medium high and we'll let this cook for a while. Our green beans are getting close to being done, so now we're gonna make the sauce that goes over the top of them. This is probably why I love it so much. It's a sweet green bean. So it's gonna be two tablespoons of brown sugar and one tablespoon of soy sauce. You just mix that together. Okay, our green beans are about done. They didn't really get brown to this time, but I think it's because I used canned green beans instead of frozen, but it's fine. So now I'm gonna turn the heat off and pour this sauce over them. And just mix that in really well. And that's it, it's simple as that, and it's super tasty, and I still consider it healthy even though it has brown sugar in it. Super easy side though, that goes over really well for our family. I wanted to share with you what we're having tonight for supper, even though I'm not gonna show me cooking it because it's super simple. Costco has different kinds of meatballs. If you shop at Costco, you might be familiar with that. They have the cranberry jalapeno around Christmas time. It's a super good one. And so this time we tried this teriyaki pineapple chicken meatballs and it is really good. We really enjoyed it. We had it over rice last night and we have some left so we're gonna have it. Some of us will have it over rice tonight and some of us will just have it over some egg noodles and then we'll have that with our Asian style green beans. Well, we didn't do a lot of cooking this week but we did more than last week so I hope that you found the recipes I shared helpful or maybe inspiring. If you see the funny lights over there, that's just where I have my plant starts. Once they got big enough, 
to come out of the little greenhouse downstairs. I moved them up here so I could start more seeds downstairs. Thanks for hanging out with me and I'll see you again next time.